Have you ever wanted to do your own completely unique thing? Something that has never been done before in the history of mankind? Well, good news. You don't need to do something crazy like fly to the sun or sail around the world by yourself. All you need is a deck of 52 standard playing cards. So, what's so fascinating about these cards? Well, shuffle them in any way you want to. The arrangement of cards you have just created has probably never been made by anyone else in history. I know what you're thinking. That can't be right. Cards are being used all around the world all the time. Surely someone must have made this arrangement before. Let me explain. The card on the top of the deck could be any of the 52 cards in the deck. The card second from the top could be any of the cards in the deck except one, because the top card cannot be repeated. This means there are 51 possibilities for the card second from the top. There are 50 for the card third from the top and so on, all the way down to one. This is expressed like this. No, not 52 exclamation mark, 52 factorial. A factorial is a simple way of representing a whole number multiplied by every whole number below it except for zero. 5 factorial, for example, is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 52 factorial equals... More simply, 8 times 10 to the power of 67. This sounds big, yes, but surely not more than the amount of times all decks of cards ever used combined have been shuffled. Well, let me put that number into perspective. There are 10 to the power of 23 stars in the entire universe. And the universe is about 10 to the power of 18 seconds old. As a percentage, this is the likelihood of creating a unique arrangement of cards. So you're almost certainly making history every time you shuffle a deck of cards. In fact, if every star in our galaxy had a trillion planets, each with a trillion people living on them, and each of these people had a trillion pack of cards, which they managed to shuffle uniquely a thousand times per second, and they've been doing this since the Big Bang, they'd only start be starting to repeat shuffles now. So how can you get a number as huge as this? Okay, okay. 8 times 10 to the power of 67. From the simple expression 52 factorial. Well, to help you wrap your head around it, let's try a different example. If there were 4 people and 4 seats, how many different seating arrangements could you create with them? The first person to sit down will have four seats to choose from. However, the second person will only have three, and the third will only have two, and the last person will have no choice where to sit. Therefore, there are four times three times two times one ways to seat people, which equals 24. This number may not be too large, but if you introduce another person and another chair, you get five times four times three times two times one which equals 120. And if you add a sixth person, you get 720 different possible options. So as you can see, factorials can create very large numbers. So now you understand factorials, but how are they used in real life? Factorials are used in many different areas. From calculating the probability of winning chance games, which allow casinos to set prizes accordingly, to assess how many digits are necessary for a password to be secure.